It's a lot to get to, I guess. But uh, Barky, I'll start with you. Just been a long time waiting for some kind of trophy like this. Obviously not the big one, but just what, what did it mean to, and especially with the way it ended, to, to win this one tonight? And, and do it at home. Yeah, it, it's hard to explain right now. Everything just happened so quick, and uh, it, it means a lot. It uh, definitely does. And to get to this point, you know how hard you need to work. And uh, like you see how many great teams we just beat in the in the playoffs and so far. And uh, it hasn't been easy. And nobody said it's going to be easy. So we, we're really, really happy for what, what we just did. And but we obviously we all know like there's there's a another big series coming up soon. So we can get too too high on this left side third row George Matthew can you walk us through that that goal with 4.9 seconds left and and then Sasha when you see that goal go through what's the first thing that goes through your head yeah I mean I just I, I know that uh, I gave it to Rhino and uh, he shot it and I think he just got a shoulder on it went in the air it was Barky uh, me and Benny were kind of like in the front I was behind the net a little bit and Barky had a great like fake where he he uh, froze everybody and and gave it to me and I had just a ton of room and some time to to get across and, and put it in so um, I don't think that you know a lot of a lot of people contributed on that like Rhino to start it Barky at the pass Benny at the net so it was it was fairly easy for me to just put it in. I I wouldn't say it was easy but uh, the the patience he had at the end it's not too many guys have that so but we we can talk about that later and yeah obviously. Uh, so that was probably the quickest you been skated. You skated <laughs> when you skated to the neutral zone. I couldn't catch you. So, but yeah, it was it was so loud. It was so so much excitement. It's hard to explain. It was great. Whatever minute that we were on the ice after that goal, it was unbelievable. Front left. Sasha, sorry to put you on the spot with him sitting right next to you, but I mean, you've gotten to really see the type of player Matthew is over the course of the season. I mean, how special of a player is he, especially in those big moments as you've seen throughout this series? Yeah, he's he's unbelievable. Uh, it's it's hard to talk about the guy who sits right next to me, but <laughs> uh, ever since like he he got here, like first message was. So I, I thought it was like we, we knew each other for 10 years. Like he, the way you talk to me and the way you get everyone, everyone like together in this organization and in this team and how we spend time like off ice and uh, it's just been like unreal, unreal addition. And like everyone, everyone sees what he's doing on the ice, but off ice is it's been like eye opening how how great of a person he is and how he breeds hockey and everything around it every day and it's it's unreal on the right side jameson it's pretty nice there <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, <laughs> i gotta start doing yeah, more yeah. of these with bark next to me <laughs> <laughs> matthew uh, when the playoffs started you kind of talked about how no one believed in the team except the guys in the room obviously now a lot of people believe in you guys all of south florida the the twenty thousand fans in the buildings what's it feel like to have the support you guys have now and just take us through that moment of just being in the center of the bowl yeah. when everything was going down. Well, we have tons of support now, but I still think not many people believe. I mean, like the people in this area support and believe in us, but to tell you the truth, there's, there's not many people out there that do still. And I, we know that we've played some really good teams so far in this playoffs, and we know that the next team is going to be unbelievable as well. Um, you know, more points, more wins, more whatever. Than, than we have so um, kind of that similar feel of being the underdog and trying to prove people wrong again and we know what we have in there we know how to play we know the right way to play we know what makes us successful and, and being in it with the guys and seeing the belief and seeing just the calmness to us is is really something special like nothing rattles us I mean they score with three minutes left you'd think that you know uh oh here we go like what's what's gonna happen but it's like the opposite it's uh, it's so fun to be around, and like it's just so fun being at the rink right now. It's it, you know, we got a few weeks left of this, and it's gonna be. We talked about it in the room, gonna be the best few weeks of our lives, hopefully. So, um, something that we're all really excited for. Left side, third row, Andrew. Uh, Sasha, what kind of pride do you have leading this team as a captain to the Cup final and being the first 
finish caps in, in the cup final. Wow, I didn't know that. That's That means a lot, of course. Uh, it's hard to explain right now. I, I know it just happened, and uh, but it feels great right now. Uh, I'm not going to lie. And uh, maybe maybe later after the season or after the career, I'll probably like understand what what really happened. But uh, it's uh, I don't know what to say. Like it's it's not just like me leading him, leading everyone in our our room, like Stahl's brothers, everyone like Bob. Uh, those guys are the leaders as well, and. Uh, like with them, it's it's so much easier and so much more fun to to play and to to come to the rink, like you said, to come to the rink every day is so much fun. Take a few more questions, front right, Mike. Uh, Matthew, uh, you have you know two overtime winners, a goal with 4.3 seconds left in regulation to put you guys in the finals. You've always had this gift for drama, but I mean, are you even amazed at what you've achieved? Uh, this series, what's this whole ride been like? And uh, also, I talked to your dad today. Is it true that you kind of put him into a timeout in terms of doing media? Yeah, I, I, that is true. He's in. Uh, he's still in timeout till uh, hopefully uh, for a few more weeks if, you know, when, when, when we win. But uh, he, uh, I don't know. The ride's been unreal. Like, I'm, it's not like anything's changed with our team. Like, each game's a one-goal game. Um, our power play's gotten us a few this series, and I mean, I'm just surrounded by so many great players that make it uh, just super, super easy for me. And um, I'm, I feel like just so lucky. And uh, just being here, being with this team, it's it's been unbelievable since July when I got here. And uh, you know, hopefully, I can cap off uh, this amazing year in the next few weeks. And we'll take two more questions. Front left. Chuck, you play with the tenacity like no other. And even after the cup check, um, you seem to come back out and handle your business. Just talk about that tenacity that kind of rubs off on other guys as well, because it seems like they're playing with that same fire that you bring out there each and every day. I, th I think we have to. I think that's what makes us successful and will make us successful going forward. It's, it's not about, well, I mean, I guess it is about winning games. But you know, in these series, it's, it's about, you know, we saw it with the Boston series. is. Being able to wear a team down, physicality, and and our team's four checks really are is really solid, and we've got a bunch of speed up front and a bunch of heavy players that can play that way. So, um, no, I'm definitely not the only guy that's playing like that. I think we have 12 forwards that play that way, and that that's what adds up in the series. Like in the Boston series, it it maybe didn't show till in in overtime, a game seven, but that's that's where you can wear teams down. And, um, you know, there's there's so many moments that you can look at that. Different, different people stepped up. I mean, you know, hope, hope, uh, Slavin's okay with Benny hit, but like that's that's the type of hockey that is needed to be played at this time of year. Like just good, hard, physical on the four check and just through guys and and you know I think Benny's probably the best at it on our team and I think that's who we follow. Last question on the left side, standing up. For both of you, you guys didn't seem to hesitate in touching the trophy, picking it up. What was it like to? Take it around, skate it around, carry it around today. Yeah. I mean, I I think that we're the type of team like the last thing that we're gonna do is be superstitious about not touching it or anything. Like, I mean, nobody said we were gonna make playoffs, so I don't know. I think it's pretty cool to to touch it and carry it around and take pictures with it. Like, we earned that thing and definitely didn't do it the easy way. So. Um, I don't know. I thought it was we earned it. And I feel like if you're blocking shots, taking hits, and doing whatever it takes to win a trophy like that, you might as well enjoy it. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you so much.